Hey guys, JPA Trades here, and like I said on Twitter, I'm going to be going over what is a dark pool print. I know a lot of times when I post like dark pool levels on Twitter, you guys come with some questions like, hey, how do I use this? How can they be applied? So as all my educational videos, I'm going to start out assuming everyone knows nothing and just kind of build upon it from there. So what is a dark pool print? A dark pool trade or print are equity blocks executed over the counter through a private exchange only available to institutional investors. These private exchanges are known as dark pools due to their lack of transparency. So basically what this is saying is one institution or bank or hedge fund is doing an exchange to another institution or hedge fund. You can't do these dark pool trades. These are only for institutions. And they don't want you to know if they're buys or sell. They want to have as little transparency as possible. All it shows up is X number of shares were traded at a certain price, and you don't know who was buying, who was selling, what was the reasoning. So, and dark pools were created in order to facilitate the block trading by institutional investors who do not wish to impact the market with large orders and obtain adverse prices for their trades. So basically what this is saying is, you know how you can see the talking heads on Fast Money or Kramer on TV going, hey, every, I think this is a good stock, you should buy it now. Hey, blah, 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 buy this stock. You, you see the stock price either jump or sell based on what those people are saying on YouTube, Twitter, TV, whatever. When these, these hedge funds and institutions are locking in a price on what they're doing in that exchange, so they're saying, I want Tesla for $900 and I want $100 million worth of it. And that never gets seen in the regular tape. And that's why the share price doesn't jump crazy throughout the day. So here's how I like to take advantage of dark pool prints and really help enhance my trading. So for me, dark pool prints can signal the beginning of a trend or a change in trend. So let's say you have a stock that's just red hot, running, 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 running. And then all of a sudden you start seeing these huge dark pool orders either day after day or just these massive hundred million dollar orders or just ten million dollar orders depending on the stock and they they start to seem like they're at that top resistance or like near all-time highs and you're like i wonder wonder if this is kind of the time for a little cool down so or conversely if you see a stock that's just been getting beat up for weeks beat up for months and it's finally starting to levelize you see those dark pull orders come in you might start thinking hey i might want to take some long-term positions or add some calls here because something might be reversing my personal favorite way to use dark pool prints is as accumulation zones and the identification of support and resistance levels. So same thing, you see those dark pool prints, let's say on Tesla at 900, you might start to think, hey, Tesla 900, that's probably a pretty good level to start thinking I should watch out for it. And inversely, if you see Tesla at 1200 and you start seeing all those dark pool prints come through, I want to say, okay, I kind of got a range now, 900 to 1200, and I want to either buy and sell at those places and just kind of use that as my indicator. And that's what the last step is. Dark pool prints are leading indicator of up, upcoming market movements. If you see that cash and those dark pool prints flowing into a stock, there's there's likely a move coming. You, you've got to use your own technical analysis and breakdowns, and you got to use your own due diligence and read into the news. But that dark pool print kind of helps confirm, hey, something's coming here. If you think the news is good and you see the dark pool prints coming, you're like, hey, we might be looking for a breakout. You see the news and the dark pool prints bad, the dark the news is bad and the dark pool prints come in, you might be thinking, hey, we might break down. So I'm going to do an example of it. Uh, as everybody knows, Tesla broke out over the last couple, what, 10 days or so, two weeks. So I'm here on Usual Whales, and I just set the filter to a $5 million dark pool print just to kind of filter out the smaller ones to see what was going on here. So 1217 was a couple days before that breakout happened, and there were some huge orders that happened right around $930. And that kind of made me raise my eyebrow. So there's these huge prints, 828 million, 906 million, 854 million. You see this uh, an 88 million in there, a 60 million in there, and a ton of other over 10 million dollars, all at that 932 level. So someone really, really, really wants to get in Tesla, and so you start thinking, well, why are, why are they getting in that? So you got to remember though, these are just stock trades; they're not option trades. These guys are buying these, and they have all the time in the world because it's stock. They don't need the move to happen today, tomorrow, but if they think in the next week or two weeks, something massive is going to happen. They want to be positioned for it. 
So here's Tesla's stock, the right the red line is 1217. So here's where those traders were in their buying. So they bought at 930, you could have chased in there with them, got to 960 and you would have thought, "Oh, I got my move or maybe a little more moves coming." But then the following couple days, uh, it's back down to 900 and even dipped down to under 900. So if you were you didn't understand what's going on, you might panic sell out your position. But that's kind of what they want you to do. They're not looking at tomorrow and the next day. They're looking days, weeks, months in the future for this huge move. And that happened about a week later, two weeks later. The news broke of Elon being done selling after they were already positioned in with almost $2 billion worth of uh, shares of Tesla. And they captured almost a 200-point move as it rocketed up to 1120 on that $2 billion position. So they just just completely made bank. You saw people on Twitter showing off all their Tesla gains. If you would have kind of understood that dark pool action, you would have known, hey, I want to add here, but I want to add time. When you see the key with dark pool is you want to play it with time. The move doesn't come that day, the next day. You're looking a couple days down the road. It's that it's that cash into the stock that you want to watch for. So that being said, I really hope this video helps you guys better understand dark pool, and I'll see you all next time.